Or right. I used to say, oh, if you don't like gay marriage, don't get gay married. <laughs> right, exactly. But what if I don't like children being subjected yeah. to societal pedophilia? Well, then yeah. don't be a part of society. All right, so this is the context. I bre- and I, another question of the day. Do you think that the whole push for pedophilia now has become mainstream? At what point does it become mainstream? Yeah. And uh, how far, I, you know, it's, we're not just going down a slippery, it's not a slippery slope. It's like we're going down a slope in a flying saucer with the cereal varnish from Christmas <laughs> vacation. <laughs> yes. It is yeah. remarkable. Yeah. Nice, it's yeah, crazy. Yes, uh, yesterday, yesterday, gosh, it seems like it was a week ago. Mario yeah. Lopez, he was attacked because he had the gall. He had the stones, mind you, to say that parents should be careful about three-year-olds choosing their gender, right? He was forced to apologize. Yeah. That's insane. Absolutely insane. So think about that for a second before we move on to the, how this relates to sort of pe- pedophilia and this hypersexualization of yeah. children and how it's become mainstream. Think of what that apology signifies. Okay? He is saying, I am sorry for suggesting that parents <laughs> yeah. wow. shouldn't allow their three year old or four year old or eight year old child to make a permanent decision regarding puberty blockers and stunting their growth for the rest of their life. I am so sorry. I now know better and I will be more thoughtful in the future. It, by that, I mean guaranteeing uh, the moral high ground to the opinion that all children should make permanent sexual decisions at the age of three. And that's why I have, I have no tolerance for people who apologize on these issues anymore. Really, I, have we no. talked about this? We talked yeah. about it on, on Ash Wednesday, if, yeah. if people want to stay in the closet, you don't want to come out as conservative, that's fine. I understand to keep your head down, but do not apologize when you yeah. have done nothing wrong. And you know, listen, your view hasn't changed, Mario Lopez. <laughs> no, Let's not be at honest all. here. You didn't, yeah. have, you didn't have a change of heart. You're just afraid. And right. it's only going to get worse because you apologize. I have, I'm done with this guy. <laughs> in other uh, transgender news, <laughs> just to story. get to this, well, we're getting to the pedophilia thing, the Jessica Yaniv, right? This is the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there, there's something yeah. that a lot of people don't know here, but let's go to the Uh-oh. clip first. This is the person for people who don't know Marley was dead to begin with, mm. uh, suing places, estheticians for not waxing Z's balls. Oh. And what if she did that? And then, ah. then a dude, uh, you know, a, a man comes <laughs> in and says he's a woman, scary. and then he wants my wife to polish his Johnson. <laughs> you know, in in this day and age with the, with the BC Human Rights Code and the Canadian Human Rights Code, if someone identifies as a woman, they have to receive those gender affirming care services. That's the... <laughs> Wow. That's the law. I didn't understand a <laughs> word that gentleman was saying. Was that a clump in whiteface? It it's just something. Eddie Murphy under all of that. <laughs> no, no, that was Ursula. Listen, <laughs> not even yeah, exactly. Not even making an effort there. This okay. person even testified at a British uh, Columbia Human Rights Tribunal. Really? By the way, same kind of Human Rights Tribunal that had Mike Ward. Right? They wanted to ch- yeah. find him yeah. uh, for a joke. Oh. And the story oh, dominated the culture war oh while we were gosh. gone um, with even the, the prime minister, uh, actually, oh, a press conference, real, yeah. in case you missed it, yeah. Now, it's important I clarify, transphobia has no home in Canada. And this beautiful and brave woman, she deserves the same dignity and basic human rights as all women, including that of having her beautiful scrotum and testicles waxed without fear oh, of shame. I there would be a big check. And as Canada's chief executive, let me offer Jessica our sincerest apologies. And as a symbolic show of unity, allow me to now perform the original services you were so rudely denied. Mr. Mr. Prime Minister, I, I was told there would be a... No, no, Jessica. There's no need to accept the consolation prize here. Uh, actually, my, my lawyer and I, we, we, have, we discussed them. Hey, hey. Please, please. Uh, the most important things in life cannot be bought or sold like the dignity of which you were robbed, on which I could place well, I, well, no actually, monetary value. Well, actually, we, we agreed upon... A, and so there's no sense now. in trying. Please, please don't. Please don't touch me. All right. All right. Get the hell off me. Uh, no, yeah, that's, well, you know what? That's, yeah. Stop touching me, man. Uh, uh, yeah. By the way, something that people haven't necessarily Ooh, talked about yet, that, that anyway. Jessica also under fire for trying to throw a semi-nude kid's pool party where hmm. parents weren't allowed. The ball's on this broad, and we're going to wow. get back to that later, wow. by the way. <laughs> it's, it's unsurprising to me. It's completely inevitable because by its very nature, it's sexualizing children. This yeah, is a yeah. sexual decision. This involves one. Se- we talk about reproductive rights. Right. What about the reproductive rights of children? Yeah. Don't, yeah. shouldn't, shouldn't they have the right to be protected yeah, as yeah. it relates to their ability to reproduce? Any, we're actually talking about reproductive <laughs> rights? Yeah. Every time they all. push some gender studies trend, all the focus immediately on children. Yeah. Why? And uh, let's review this, and you might think this is kind of a fringe uh, tendency, but th- they have a long history of sexualizing children pushing pedophilia. So let's yeah. go to a brief history lesson here. 20th century, okay? Uh, many famous academics, they argued 
in favor of pedophilia. 1977, wow. three Frenchmen, they were put on trial, okay, for having sex with kids, young as 13. Wow. Number of French intellectuals signed a petition to legalize sex with young children, okay? This is important because we've talked about gender theory. All of the biggest postmodernist thinkers in France, they signed it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Michel Foucault, Jean Sartre, uh, Jacques, I think it's, was it Jacques Derrida? Jean-Francois Lyotard is his actual name. Lyotard? Simone, Simone de Beauvoir. We've talked about Simone before. The list goes on. The crazy thing is, by the oh way, gosh. the age of wow. consent in France but they decided this was going to be the mantle they would they would care. Yeah. It was already 15. <laughs> they wanted to completely that wasn't young enough. abolish pushing it. <laughs> any law regarding age. In an oh interview about this petition, Foucault said, I want to quote him directly, to assume that a child is incapable of explaining what happened and was incapable of giving his consent are two abuses that are intolerable, quite unacceptable. So he thinks it's abuse what? to not allow kids to have sex. Keep in mind, Foucault is oh still, gosh. to this day, the wow. most cited author in all of the humanities studies across college. Oh, wow. He is, the, he's thought of as the father, the godfather of gender theory itself. Simone de Beauvoir, we just talked about Simone de Beauvoir, yeah. a French existentialist. She's the first person to claim that gender was a social construct, serves as the bedrock for modern gender theory. Oh boy. I'm starting wow. to see a trend here. So these were the theorists, <laughs> right? This is important to note, crazy, the theorists, the right. philosophers. And did you learn in college, the John Money study? Did you learn, this was a, the guy who had twins, I, and he no. raised one as a boy, one as a girl? I know the study now, but I did so not know This that. is important because this, again, everything you know about transgenderism, you say, well, why does it always push to pedophilia? Well, here's why. Sorry. You have the philosophers, <laughs> the theory, who established it. By the way, they still believe there were only two genders. They didn't believe that there were 57 like on your Facebook profile. Yeah. But they we'll were only so that. crazy. Hey, then there was, 72 genders. Then okay. there was, in practice, the case study. Yeah. We wouldn't call it a clinical trial, but you've learned about this in college. This is John Money. Uh, he was the one who had twins, right? He raised yeah. one as a boy, one as a girl to prove that gender was arbitrary. We've already covered this. Wow. One of the twins yeah. uh, who was, I, I can't remember the one that was raised as a girl, I think, yeah, committed suicide. Yes. Yeah. The other one did not, to be fair, died of an overdose of antidepressants. And uh, this is still taught in schools as the basis of the yeah. modern medical yeah. approach to transgenderism. And he had this, John Money, to say about pedophilia. If I were to see the case of a boy aged 10 or 11 who's intensely erotically attracted toward a man in his wow. 20s or 30s, if the relationship is totally mutual and the bonding is genuinely totally mutual, he made them then I would not call it pathological in any way. He that, says. That's insane. Wow, wow. And he made them, in a point kind of we skipped over, he made them perform sexual acts with each other. Yes, yeah. dominating the sexual kids. acts. Yeah, incredible. And That in and of itself is sexual abuse. Uh, the the uh, poet, uh, Allen Ginsberg, I think we talked about, was deported from Cuba for saying Che Guevara was <laughs> yeah. cute. Yeah. Member yeah. of NAMBLA. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Remember right? he used to say, oh, if you don't like gay marriage, don't get gay married. <laughs> right? Exactly. But what if I don't like children being subjected yeah. to societal pedophilia? Well, then yeah. don't and be a part of society. I mean, how do you, how do you, three years problem? old? Remember, people are now Crazy. crucifying Mario Lopez, AC Slater, yeah. for saying that a three year old can't decide to change his gender. <laughs> right. Well, hold on a second. If a kid can change their gender, what? Why wouldn't they be able to consent to sex? Right. Surely, a sex change is a bigger life decision than just having sex. People right. need to understand this. It's natural that this would follow suit. All right, so let's go to the oh, second point terrible. here. Normalizing pedophilia, this is happening, right? We normalize it yeah. outright right now. Uh, it didn't die out in yeah. the 70s. No. Just, I think we have some overlays here. The pedophilia supporting mm -hmm. publications, they've been running stories over the yeah. last few years. Yep. Yeah, we actually broke the fact that the salon pedophile was the one who was actually still yeah. currently grooming children. And yep. then they wrote an article that we were monsters. Yep. <laughs> but let's go on to how they've been pushing it in a different way. By the way, hit the notification bell if you uh, haven't already because Subscriptions don't mean anything. Of course, join Mug Club, Club, slash Mug Club. You get a full daily show. Subscribe on iTunes for exclusive audio content, and please leave us uh, a rating there. Um, here's something else that's been going on for a long time. Child drag queens. Yeah. Okay? Oh, yeah. uh, I think we have some B-roll. 11-year-old drag queen, Desmond. Uh, this is, yeah, called Desmond is Amazing. Stripping at a club, having money thrown at him for people who can't oh, see right gosh. now. Look at this. Tell me that isn't disturbing. Yeah. Look at this. This is a boy stripping, and they say there's nothing sexual about this. Stripping and men giving him money. By the way, I got in trouble at 14 for mowing lawns because it was a violation <laughs> of the Labor Bureau. Mm -hmm. Remember Trent. that? They were like, "You technically you're not supposed yeah. to do that. It's illegal." What about when they're making it rain on an 11 year old <laughs> exactly. dressed in Michael yeah. Jackson sailor yeah. pants? All the lemonade stands cops have been breaking up around the nation. That's and the only the reason they're okay with this, by the way, is because it's gay. Oh, Can you imagine absolutely. if it were just a straight strip club with an 11 year old girl there? Yeah. Uh, Can what, you what imagine if, the ramifications yeah, there? Mean, what if it that would, was it would never occur, right? It would, it would, would never, never occur. It would no. never occur to anyone well, Bill, to do Bill, that. Because know. even if it was someone's fetish, they'd be like, hold on, no, there's other people here. <laughs> <laughs> right? But it, at this club, you're like, oh, let's roll camera, roll tape, check right. the gate repeatedly. <laughs> they tell us it has nothing to do. Child drag queens, nothing to do with sexual uh, right. sexuality. But then let right. me ask this, why is one of them a mascot for an erotic clothing company? Right. Lest you think yeah. I exaggerate, here you go. Look, yeah, House right. of Man. Yep. Of course, Dude. after they were called on it, they tried to scrub the word erotic <laughs> from their website. 
because yeah. words, those pesky words, the, some would argue that actually in a tone-deaf move, they replaced the word erotic with crotchless leather. That doesn't seem like it was well-timed. <laughs> Again, imagine if it were a nine-year-old girl with a ball gag in her mouth yeah. as the face of, right. of The Gap or yeah. an erotic clothing store. You don't see it. Hey, By the they, way, let's yeah. scale it back because you're going to say a lot all of people right, say, well, hold on, right. that's really extreme, right? Dra the drag queen scenario. No, that, that was trending on YouTube and was yeah. supported by yeah. the uh, transgender community at large. But on shows everywhere. Let's scale it back. Drag queen story time. Harmless, right? This is just people reading the kids. It happens at <laughs> libraries across the country. Well, except in a Portland library, it ended up with drag queens dry humping children. They're the pictures. They're the yep. pictures. Oh that my is gosh. the. By the way, that guy moonlights as a scout counselor. <laughs> what? No, of course that's not true. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What is what <laughs> I say? I, was, this I room? wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I'm kidding. Drag but, queen story time. Houston ended yeah. up with not one but. Two sex offenders on its oh roster. Circling back to uh, Jessica, Jessica, the Canadian um, trans activist, the one who insists that uh, women get their balls waxed is a human right. Now. <laughs> it just sounds yeah. weird. Along with internet in Germany, getting your balls waxed as a woman. Yeah. Turns out, tried to host a no parents allowed topless pool party for 12 year old girls. Also allegedly does. tried to show child porn to underage wow. girls. Obsessed about, uh, t was talking about new girls in locker rooms, asking about tampons. This Jessica, he Jeez. asked if it's okay for 10 year old girls uh, to bear all in the locker room. He asked, sorry, we have to bleep this. Do you see t's and pussy ever to 12 year old girls? Which by wow. the way, I guarantee you they do. They have them. So this is really just to get like he's not he's not he's not even really getting he's not asking anything no to which he doesn't know the answer do you ever see yourself naked asking he was asking them the best way to bond with girls De he was devastated by the way he was devastated when it turned out that they weren't just parading around naked in the locker room he was really upset uh -huh. by it yeah. Well, yeah I don't know it's not Porky's <laughs> yeah, that's what he thought. he's gonna get a twelve year old right? Jessica Andrews yeah. scenario that's just getting off to asking questions to twelve year old yeah, girls that's, that's sick that's so disturbing have you heard about this in mainstream media anywhere you've heard about the initial story right right yeah. Expl this keep in mind Jessica is explicit that Z is attracted to females and identifies himself as a proud lesbian so. I'm still confused. angling for that okay. available striker spot in the U.S. women's soccer team. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind, by the way, see it? When we're talking about mainstream, CNN's Chris Cuomo, the DNC pool boy in chief, said that 12 year old girls are bigots if they don't want to look at grown men's penises. There's the tweet. Yeah. I can't believe that one. How, how are you supposed to be tolerant of a child seeing a man's penis? Like, how is, how is the word tolerance thrown in there? Yeah. That, that should never happen, period. Right? Yeah, we so, would why think is, so. And Cuomo was saying she needs to be more tolerant. Dad needs to teach her to be more. Of a guy's penis no, hanging out? No, no. For your daughter more to see? Of a boy stripping down and having corners yes. thrown at him at drag queen story time. Well, at least yeah. get some dollar bills out. Let's have some respect. The point is the, the, the history, kidding. right? The history oh, is, this oh. is all founded upon this. The founders of the feast supported pedophilia. All of modern gender theory. Look at Simone de Beauvoir. Look at John Money. Look at all of these people. They are the most cited of anyone out there. Yeah. They all supported this. They actively signed on to this. They championed this. And the same people, the same organizations who have the ear of everyone at the DNC, who are attacking Mario Lopez, yeah. look at their platforms. They all support this. And this is about as sick as something can get. And this yeah. is something that I think people, uh, everyone needs to think about here. When we talk about our responsibilities as a society, the conversation now has turned to free stuff a lot, right? Our mm -hmm. responsibility to provide free school, free healthcare, free tampons. But you know what? Before we get to the free commodities, that you would like, not a right, commodities that you would like to not have to pay for. How about we understand the most basic societal responsibility since the beginning of civilization? Not Western civilizations, by, uh, by the way, unless you try and call this a racist dog whistle for the alt-right. Just civilizations. Yeah. Since the beginning of human beings. The responsibility to protect the most vulnerable among us. That's why we would send men out and protect the women and children in battle. Right? You, you send out the strong to protect the vulnerable. Would anyone disagree that the vulnerable would include children? Yeah. If this is as sick as it gets, mm. and it's mainstream. In today's left, it's a consistent pattern. And how often do you hear about this right now from the press? Go to, right now, do this, do this experiment. Go to the homepage at Vox. Go to HuffPo. Go to Salon. Go to the YouTube homepage. Go to their YouTube Heroes Trans LGBTQ AAIP activist page. Is anyone talking about this Jessica business? Will anyone be talking about this segment? I guarantee you they won't, unless it's expressing outrage and offense over the serial sex offending tranny profile, uh, pedophile, sorry. Why? Because I misgendered him. That's what they'll be upset yeah, about, yeah, because course. priorities. So it's really important just to understand how this has been creeping in for a long time, the basis for modern gender theory, and how far we've gone. And that's why you don't apologize. Mario Lopez, what are you thinking, A.C. Yeah. Slater? Hey there, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel or hit the notification bell. Do it. Oh, wait a second. Do you hear that little ding? It actually didn't make a ding sound. I just did it. It happened while my mouth was doing it and you thought it was coming from your computer. Uh, so that's fun. Also, there's some videos playing in these boxes next to me. Go watch those. You might enjoy them. 
You might not. You don't care. <laughs>